His phrase is, why not, mom? Try it. What do you have to lose? The millennial generation. Yes. So you are surrounded by millennials. Yes. Uh, what is that like as a leader? What are you learning and what are you noticing with this generation? Well, I tell a lot of my colleagues, I surround myself with people who are to my weakness. Mm -hmm. Millennials are the most innovative, creative group of people that I've met. And I surround myself with them because they stretch me. They stretch my thinking. Being in HR for 25 years, you can get stale. You can get yeah. stalled into what you think should happen in an organization. They open me up to a different way of thinking. Um, we round and, and we go around to the departments, but one of the things that they like to do, and which I've always done, but I, I do it even more, is they want to work like almost every week in a unit. They want to be side by side with staff. They want to meet them when they first come in, they want to be involved in their day to day, and they want to be the first one they see if they decide to exit the organization. Because then they built up that relationship. Staff are, they will stay because of loyalty once they build that relationship internally. When I was growing up, education was valuable, but you, you didn't always have it as a resource to you. Mm -hmm. um, I have two millennials at home, okay. a 26 year old son and a 21 year old daughter. And my son is, the, is an entrepreneur, and the one thing he's taught me to do is why not? His, his phrase is, why not, mom? Try it, what do you have to lose? And I love that about that generation. They don't have the fear set in them yet. They're, they're, they're gonna go for it, even if they fail, they're gonna get back up and they'll try, try it again or try something different. Why not? Why not? That's such a great question to ask yeah. yourself. Because so many people are looking the other way and they're saying, but why would I do it? What if I fail? You know, what if it's too hard? What if I'm not as good as the other person? And those are the gaps that a lot of leaders go through in their growth journey that they don't realize you're not gonna become good overnight. So they're afraid to take those risks. Absolutely. And that's, I do agree with you because I think the millennial generation is very intuitive to, uh, you're gonna regret it if you don't try. You don't, right. You know, so no risk, no reward. No reward.